Hey guys, today is September 4th, 2023. It's Labor Day, and on the Julian calendar, it's 823. And as I had mentioned before, 823 uh, was a Vulcanalia. And Vul of course, volcanism has to do with volcanoes. And we're going to cover some volcano stuff as it is as it relates to Venus, because we're told v the planet Venus uh, is the most volcanically active planet. But we'll cover that stuff here. Um, it's also my 141st video today. So that's kind of interesting because that's what my channel is all about, the 141st prime number, which is 811. And Wormwood from Re Revelation 811 is what my channel is all about. And I'm just going to remind you guys here, I'm going to remind you at the end also, but you need to go to my Rumble channel and start following it, subscribing to it, because I'm going to put some very important information on there and we're going to cover why it's so important towards the end here hopefully this will be kind of a short video but you need to go to this channel and subscribe because some stuff's going to go on there that you're going to want to see this absolutely critical information and i'll talk just a little bit more about it um, at the end but go to this channel this is my rumble channel follow it Get a, get a Rumble account, follow my channel. Um, I just have a few videos that are cross-posted on here from YouTube. But I'm going to be putting up some content on there. And the people who go over there and subscribe, um, when I start putting up this content, um, I think you're going to be very, you know, it's going to be very um, helpful to you. At the very least, you'll know who you are and what's yours and what's not yours. But we'll cover more of that. Um, at the end here. Um, being my 141st video uh, that's related to Wormwood, uh, my last two videos I did about the Mothman and the Chicago earthquake, uh, both of these videos talk about Wormwood. And this one in particular was interesting. I think I did this video on the 15th of August. And the reason I have this um, screenshot up here is I think a couple days later or maybe it was even the next day after I posted that video and remember in this video I talked about I think in both of these videos I talked about Phil the connection between Philadelphia and Chicago Philadelphia and Chicago are 666 miles apart um, in the Bible the ancient city of Philadelphia had an earthquake and it was destroyed by an earthquake and there's a ton of earthquake foreshadowing uh, predictive programming and symbolism connected to Chicago uh, this Mothman prophecy and the great earthquake and Wormwood but anyways of course in this video I showed you um, all kinds of predictive programming and then I used Google Earth and we did look, looked at some uh, buildings and other things in Chicago uh, measured stuff on the map but the reason I have this slide up here is a couple days after I did that video, um, this was on the Fox News app, it says Philadelphia teen charged with planning national terrorist attack. And it was just kind of interesting here um, because they used a Google Earth image from above like I did in my video and the street that they show is Woodbine Avenue, right? Like Wormwood. And to me, this seems, if you look at, if you read this article, it just seems like it's a, um, it was directed directly towards me, right? Not a synchronicity, just directed um, directly towards me after I made my video. Um, I'm going to be talking about a couple synchronicities that I've had lately. Um, I'll just, sh I'm going to share half of the synchronicity. I'm not going to share the reason or what prompted it in my life because I'll probably address that on the Rumble channel. But I'll give you some interesting, um, show you an interesting synchronicity that I had um, lately. And I've had a lot of them. And honestly, I don't know what to do as far as telling you guys about synchronicities. 
Um, if you are subscribed to the Dan Barrett YouTube channel, he kind of bases his whole channel off his synchronicities he has. And I experience these and, you know, all the time and I see them, I guess, you know, I, I get it. I, I appreciate it, I guess you could say, or, you know, I see it and experience it, but I, you know, um, to report it to you guys. And I, I feel like it's like, I mean, not necessarily bragging, but you know, I, um, I see it and I get it. So, but I want to tell you about one, uh, also in this video, but we'll, we'll get to that in a different slide here. Okay. So did the video about Chicago and the earthquake. And then a couple days later, it's kind of interesting. We got this article about this teen terrorist and from Philadelphia, right? So Philadelphia and Chicago, um, where, where the connection I'm trying to make here. Um, this is another screenshot I took here. Uh, Chicago, they participate in this um, earthquake drill called the shakeout. And this year, um, the date of the drill is 1019 at 1019 AM. And this is a super interesting date that I'm going to be um, covering in the future because right October 19th, oct is 8, 819. Um, the, on the Gregorian calendar date of 11 one that is 1019 on the Julian calendar. And coming up in a little over a year, we're going to have the true Pluto return for the founding of the United States, and that's going to be on 11 1. I'm going to do that video uh, shortly on YouTube here. Uh, I'll just show you that. And it's got some interesting date connections to the um, Pluto return that they said happened on 2 2022. But just wanted to show you this uh, great. Uh, shakeout drill for um, Chicago and it's actually for a bunch of other um, regions of the United States as well like here's the website for it you can like register or something sign up for the drill and um, anyways but just interesting this year it's on October 19th which is 819 and then on the Gregorian slash Julian date it's it's uh, 11 1 very interesting day that I've been keeping track of for quite a while. I, and I actually pinned it down to 11-1 for the Pluto return with the help of um, Bobby Simpson, but we'll get to that later. Okay, another slide here. Uh, this is another interesting story out of Pennsylvania. Um, there was a gas explosion, and it was supposedly related to a hot water tank, right? And I think this is a wormwood ritual um, because the address of the residence or the house was 141 Rustic Ridge, right? 141, right? 141st Prime, um, the Falling Star Wormwood, right? The waters became Wormwood and it was the water tank, right? They blamed the gas issue on the, on the hot water tank, Pennsylvania again. And then there was another gas explosion, um, Caleb Farley, uh, of the Titans. Now he's lo actually located in Charlotte, but it's interesting because Caleb Farley, CF, those are the, that's the same initial as Chris Farley. And I had talked about Chris Farley in my last two videos, or one of my last two videos, because he died in Chicago um, at the Willis Tower. Oh, excuse me, the Hancock Center. But he's connected to Chicago because Chris Farley died in Chicago. And this player was a Tennessee Titan, and of course, Tennessee Titans, they have this, their logo is literally, if you know, a meteor. So, um, just another interesting, interesting story that pops up on, on here about uh, another, you know, caused by, explosion caused by natural gas, right? Gas explosion. So, there was our explosion at 141. And then our natural gas explosion at the home of a Titans player connected to Chris Farley by his initials and his last name there. Um, back on 823, which was Vulcanalia, 
um, there was this uh, story um, about this Democratic um, representative, I think, from Wisconsin. He called uh, President or called Vice President Harris. He referred to her as President Harris, and it's actually happened several times. Um, look here you can look at these but yeah several times either biden or someone else has referred to uh, kamala harris as president harris and this happened on august 23rd vulcanalia i've showed you guys that kamala the name kamala is basically the um you know hindu version of venus right and venus has the supposedly has all the volcanoes it came out on vulcanalia the burn, and then they refer to her as president. Um, just another, you know, ritual synchronicity. I don't know, probably more like a ritual for uh, for some future event with, you know, Biden and Harris. Remember, coming up on October 23rd, um, they both share their Mercury birthdays on the same day, and they're both exactly 91 Mercury years apart, their births are. So that's coming up in a little over a month. So there's another Vulcanalia, um, India, <laughs> they supposedly landed on the moon here on August 23rd as well, another Vulcanalia ritual. Didn't really look into that one too much, but uh, here's another interesting article that was on Fox News here in the last couple weeks. Uh, there was a shooting in California, and the restaurant or the bar was called Cook's Corner. And there was like it was like a biker bar, and it was called Cook's Corner, like CC33, but Cook. Cook is interesting because Chicago is Cook County. And actually, if you look at, um, there's a lot of predictive programming involving Cook stuff. And I'm going to cover that um, in some future videos as well, the predictive programming with Cook. Uh, back in 2013, I think... Alicia Keys, did she do the national anthem or halftime or something at the at the Super Bowl? And I think her her last name is actually Cook. I think it's something her you know her 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 real name her birth name was Cook, and uh, but she was at the Blackout Bowl. And then there was I think Jennifer Hudson was at that Super. I was related to that Super Bowl too, right? And Hudson Bay. I talk about a lot about Hudson Bay, but Hudson Bay is just, you know, north of Chicago. Uh, there's a super interesting connection to, to um, the 2013 Harbaugh Bowl with the two brothers and Chicago, but we'll, we'll cover that later. But I just wanted to show you guys that uh, Cook's Corner, um, Cook County, Chicago. And it's kind of interesting, too, that they put this out at 1101. And it was on Vulcanalia, once again, another Vulcanalia. And let's see, the Orange County Sheriff's Office wrote on X, right? X is Chi, right? The Greek letter Chi, Chicago, 901, right? We're coming up on um, this 91 connection for both Biden and Harris in October. And October 23rd, Oct is 823, right? October 23rd. Prefix oct is eight, so some pretty interesting foreshadowing for this uh, October 23rd date coming up for the Mercury birthdays. Now this is super interesting too. This whole thing playing out in uh, Fulton County, Georgia with uh, Trump's indictment. Um, the Fulton County DA's name is Fannie Willis, right? And she indicted Trump. Okay, so there's three things here that are all connected. Because Fulton County is related to, find it here, right, we had 9-11-2001, the World Trade Center's two buildings went down and then they replaced it with one, one building here, the Freedom Tower, it was called the Freedom Tower up to 2009, uh, one World Trade Center now, but its address is 285 Fulton Street. And Fulton actually, the etymology actually means birdcage. And I talked a little bit, would, little bit about Robin Williams in my last video because he was uh, born in Chicago, and he died on the date of 8/11. And he was actually in a movie called Birdcage. 
right? So we have this Fulton County DA. We have the 9-11 connection to Fulton, the address of the One World Trade Center, and then the DA is Fannie Willis. We have the Willis Tower in Chicago, and of course Trump. We have the Trump Tower in Chicago. Uh, but the point is here, we have Wilton or Fulton County, uh, Willis Tower, and Trump Tower. Uh, once again, it's all related to Chicago and Philadelphia. And let's see here. We just had Hurricane Idalia. Idalia means behold the sun. Right? There's a whole, there's the whole mythology behind that. Um, I didn't look into that a whole lot. I was just kind of interested in the name. It went across Florida. Florida's interesting. It's one of the places that Trump was indicted in. And Florida also, I think I showed you guys in the past that um, the United States company was incorporated in Florida in, I think, 1925. I think I showed you guys that, but um, it has to do with it's interesting the four places that Trump has been indicted. New York City, right? There was 9-11 there. Florida has this connection to the United States company. Of course, Washington, D.C. was created by the Organic Act. Um, that was when um, basically the United States of America became the, United, the first United States corporation. And then Georgia is his other places that he is indicted in Fulton County, Georgia. Uh, Georgia is actually the state where they uh, panned out all the details of the Federal Reserve on Jekyll Island in Georgia. So all these places that he's been indicted um, are super coded to basically the history of the United States and um, the the commercialization of of what was a free free country into a commercialized country where everyone's um, commercialized and and you know all this all of our energy is being uh, you know drained through through taxes and and fees and all this stuff is going on here with with the commercialization of the United States but just for for these four places that he is indicted very interesting to the history um, of the United States corporation and just to show you guys I'm just going to go through this. A lot of people don't have never seen this. I've talked about it, but we're just going to follow the follow the uh, um, the yellow brick road here to this United States Corporation definition. So here's the United States Code Table of Contents, and we go to the Judiciary and Judicial Procedure, which is Title 28, and we're going to go to Particular Proceedings. We're going to go down here to Debt Collection. Because basically, for the most part, our whole judicial system has been converted into just collection of debt, collection of energy. So, 3,001. Uh, I'm going to go back up here. 3,001. There we go. Wrong one. 3,001 here. 3,002. Definitions. Um, United States means you know a federal corporation. And this is all under Title 28, our, our judicial procedure. But our ju judicial system is simply a debt collecting company. And I took a screenshot of this, right? This uh, new Supreme Court justice, she made an error. And it's kind of funny that they, they refer to, you know, the Supreme Court as an industry, right? Because it literally is. It's an industry of, of debt collection, of energy collection. And then this is something I took a screenshot of, like judge admits in courts, they speak a, a language other than English. I don't know if you want to go look that up. It's they, Basically, the judge just says, you know, we do speak a, a whole different language. And, that, of course, that language is legal ease, right? Uh, here's another interesting thing. This was a few months ago. On September 7th, there was a story about Tupac Shakur. Uh, let's see, they searched a home and re regarding Tupac's murder. Right, Tupac, I think one of his last albums, po posthumous albums, you know, it has something to do with Jesus. He had a Jesus um, theme or crucifixion on his album cover. But if you go from his death on September 13th, 1996, to the date they had this uh, this investigation or whatever, this um, search of this home, it was 9,803 days. 
Now that's a direct reference to Jesus. If we look at the King James Bible and we just search for the name Jesus, we get 983 references to Jesus and there's a 984th reference and they and it's to a sorcerer called Bar Jesus, B A R J E S U S, all one word. That's the if you look if you search um this is just for the word Jesus, but if you go count bar Jesus, which is all one word, the sorcerer, there'll be 984. And I told you guys this before, but if you count, start at the beginning and count all the all the instances that Jesus appears, bar Jesus is the 666th time that uh you know the Jesus is included in the word. So 983 Jesus, 984 with bar Jesus, and bar Jesus is the 666th time that you uh, encounter. I'll just put it in here. I can't remember where it's at. There it is, bar Jesus, search one time. There it is. Let's see, what is it? It's... Uh, Acts 13. Anyways, just want to show you guys that with Tupac, right? A Jesus reference. Shaker, right? Shaker is like an earthquake also. Um, and this is what I'm going to cover coming up in my Rumble videos. So be sure to subscribe to my Rumble channel. And we're going to talk about identity. There's about a 99.9% .9 chance you don't even know your own identity. It's very simple, but yet it's not simple. But I want to show you something here. So Trump's Trump judges greeting to former president sets social media abuzz. It says a seemingly casual greeting to the former president of the United States set social media abuzz Thursday when a judge presiding over the arraignment for former President Donald Trump referred to him as Mr. Trump. Well, Mr. It actually can be considered a military term, and Trump is the surname, and it's part of your identity that you don't know, but the state actually owns your surname. That's the big um, thing with this, right? It's a title. The surname is a title. The judge's title is higher than Trump's title, so that's how she gets jurisdiction over him. So, Anyways, because the surname is state property. We'll get more into that. Be sure to subscribe to Rumble. We're going to, hopefully within the next five to seven days, I'm just going to do a, you know, try to do less than 10 minute videos on just you know one or two at a time and if they and then I might actually have to move to a patreon subscription where I put videos um, if I want to go into more detail with other I guess private information that I've been given and but but we'll just see I'll just we're gonna do some free stuff on rumble just about identity and stuff that you can find and read on um, the internet and then a few interesting um, conversations uh, that I've found and downloaded pieces of that you can listen to that kind of give you a overview of, of of really of your identity and the control system that's in place is all about your identity so and they do it in a lot more elegant way than I can so but I'll let you listen to some of that but I'm gonna post that on rumble so be sure to go go here and then we will uh, do the identity stuff over on rumble I'll probably take these uh, videos down to private probably unlist them and then we're just gonna do um, do stuff like that on, on Rumble. But for now, be sure to get over there and subscribe. And then we will do do the predictive programming, Chicago stuff, um, all the Pluto return, all that stuff will be on YouTube. And then anything about identity and the corporation control system we're going to do on Rumble. Okay, guys, uh, 
Thanks for watching.